Hi guys, so welcome to the video. So recently I was building an AI agent internally for my client and I have stumbled across the new automation platform that is named as NATN or you can also call this Natan. Now Natan is a platform somewhat similar to like Zapier or Make.com. The main purpose of this platform is to, you know, like directly connect one app to another app without you using very less amount of code or you can say no code platforms. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through that why I personally think Nathan is one of the best platform and it's one of the most affordable plus a better overall solution than Zapier and Make.com and why you should start using Nathan as soon as possible if you've been building automations or any AI agents for specific business. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. So before starting the video, I just need to mention that in the end of the video, I'm going to show you a small trick that will allow you to use 100,000 automations operations with just $5 instead of you spending $500 or $600 within platform like Zapier or Make.com. So stick to the video. Let's learn, understand about Nathan, Zapier, Make. And first we'll start about their pricing, what actually pricing of Nathan, Make and Zapier is. Now Make and Zapier actually charges the same way that is basically on operations, but the amount they charge is ridiculously very, very different. Right, I would still say Zapier just charge very much high compared to any platform. I used to use Zapier when I actually started uh, automation, but when I actually got to know a little bit more about APIs, I started using Make.com. Now Zapier and, and Make.com, they actually charge is basically on operations. So I'm explaining you what, how operations mean. For example, in a specific automation workflow, you have four different app connected. Let's say in this workflow that you can see right now, I have one, two, three, and four apps, right? So they're not specifically apps, like there are two apps connected, but they're like two custom webhooks. And whenever I will run this whole execution or this whole workflow, I'm going to lose four operations, right? So it's going to cost me four operations, right? And for $9 or, uh, in make.com for $10, it's going to cost, give me 10,000 operations, right? Which is still very good but if i look at freaking zapier if i go to uh the ust and if i go to literally 750 operations for 19 dollars and i mean 20 dollars it is literally absurd amount of money i don't think any other automation any pl other automation platform should be charging you this i mean uh i still cannot uh understand why do they charge uh they do a lot of marketing online that's probably one reason why they charge so much money and they are actually uh very big income compared to customer base and they have a big uh app database within them so a uh, direct connection with different different apps that's probably one reason why they charge more but that doesn't justify this type of pricing right and if i switch to make.com i get thousand operations totally for free so let's say if i if i wanted ten thousand operations I would have to pay $129. My goodness, that's fucking absurd. Like I would, I would tell you, instead of you spending $129, watch my video about API. If you don't have an, the same app that you're looking for in make.com to automate, uh, go in my YouTube videos, you find in how to make API calls. And once you understand that, then you'll be able to use this in just $10 and it's much better. Then uh, it's going to cost you a lot, right? But the the way that actually Nathan cost is basically on execution. And I actually like much more this uh, way of charging. And the reason why it's kind of like this charging is, let's say you have 10 different apps uh, or different nodes connected in a specific workflow. And if you run it once, it's not going to cost you 10 different operations. Instead, it's just going to cost you one operations because you only run it once. Now, what actually the advantage of it is that, let's say you have... 40 or 50 different workflows and specifically on different apps and like different different modules in a workflow and you run one operation and you're going to lose 50 operations within make.com or either Zapier, right? But within Nathan, all, you, all you're losing is just one operation. Now, what Nathan actually charges is you basically 2.5K for 20, 20 euros per month. Well, it might seem a lot, but there's a small trick that I'm going to show you in the end that you can use to get unlimited executions and unlimited type of operations that you want with just five to six dollars a month. So that gives you the most badass automation builder in the whole world. <laughs> okay. If you're just running it online and if you compare the both pricing, let you have 50,000 automations going on every single month for the whole workflow and you have five apps in it, it's going to cost you 250,000 operations, right? And if I see the pricing, if I, let's say you're going to go to pro model because it's going to give you more flexibility. And uh, it's, if you head over to 50,000, it's going to cost you $315, which is a lot, 
like personally myself, I would say it's a lot. But let's say if you have only 50,000 and only have like one or two F for each operation connected, it's not going to cost you a lot because now it will be only around like $100 and it is quite affordable, not really that expensive, right? Uh, now, on the other hand, if I head over to 250,000 operations within Zapier, <laughs> They are just absurdly high. Oh my goodness. I don't even have justifications like $1,000. Like, dude, why? They're just literally snatching, pickpocketing you out of nowhere and you're just throwing money out of nowhere. So don't use Zapier. It's just not worth it. I mean, the whole concept of automation is to actually save myself time and money. Of course, you're saving me time, but literally you're literally robbing me at the same time. So that's not a good idea. I mean, I'm really sorry. It's my personal opinion. Maybe Zapier is one of the best platforms for you. But for me, I sh the pricing just puts me very off. And I have no idea why. Also, they've got like new, new uh, chatbots and stuff. And none of them are actually really that really great. Because like you get there are better solutions that you can build it all by yourself. And which are quite cheap. Talking about Zaps, it's going to cost you the same amount of automation that you're going to do on Make.com. Uh, $315. But the same amount of it's going to cost you $1,070 which is very absurd amount of money. And if I go head over to Nathan, let's say if I have 50,000 operations, like the same amount of operations that I actually wanted, or what I mean is automations going on a month, and but I only have like five apps, right? It's going to cost me $133, right? So if I go to the pricing page, if I switch to this, and it's going to cost me only 120 euros, that's basically $133. Uh, and it's going to give me 50K workflow execution. Now, good part about this is that let's say if i have 50000 uh, operations within make.com and i have 10 specific uh, modules connected within it's going to cost me 500000 operations which is equal to 500 dollars but if i have like 10 20 like 30 nodes within uh, Nathan is going to cost me specifically 133 dollars and you know what we can bring to only 5 dollars if you apply the small trick that I'm going to show you in the end, okay, don't, don't worry about that. That we just literally discussed about why Nathan is much better recorded regarding the pricing model because they charge about execution and this pricing model is much more better for any automation because always if you're building automations on a larger scale, uh, you need much more flexibility and usually your flows are kind of much more bigger. Now, let's learn about the features that uh, Nathan, Nathan provides, Zapier provides and Make provides, which Put, put each of them ahead of each other. So basically run JavaScript code. Now Nathan and Zapier have inbuilt JavaScript code feature if it is capable to run code within it. Now it's provided you much more flexibility. Now a lot of viewers that have watched my videos, I know they do not know how to code. So you don't necessarily have to worry because uh, it's more about uh, why the platform, what the platform offers more in the video. It allows you to give much more flexibility so you don't have to send the code into external apps and uh, execute it and then send back to yourself. Now, multiple triggers. Now, what I like about uh, Nathan is you can have multiple triggers within Nathan, but uh, in Zapier and Make.com, you cannot have multiple triggers. You can only have one trigger that will run the workflow. And now, if it also has built-in AI agent. Now, what I actually really like about Nathan, it has built-in AI agent. So what it means is that this platform is specifically focused on building AI automation for different, different people, for different, different use cases. Now, having an AI agent allows you to use like any chat model that you use, which has memory and as well as tool calling function as well. So you can use any uh, AI chat model that you like. So if, you, if I select, if we have, we have Mistral, Llama, we got Azure, we got OpenAI, whatever your own choice is, right? Whereas make.com doesn't have any AI agent built in. Uh, if you want to make a different use case with the help of AI, there will be much more modules used, which is going to cost you more, of course. Now, Zapier has AI agents. Uh, they launched like, probably some new AI agent. I don't know. I, I think I've quite forgot about that. Uh, it's like it was something uh, Zapier Central or something, but it was, it's just shitty. It's just not, you cannot implement in the workflow. I think you can probably implement it in one flow, but it's not the best I've tried it personally myself. Now, other part is beginner friendly. Now let's talk about which platform is most beginner friendly. And if you're just getting started in the automation, I would prefer you to get started with make.com, right? Make.com is very much easy to understand. All you need to do is just drag and drop different, different app that you want to connect, connect your own account to the specific app, right? This is how simple to understand make.com. Now Zapier, kind of a lot of people likes that uh, they actually, they have their own opinion about that is much more simple to use. But personally myself, 
for me, Zapier is not simple to use. I mean, when I started, uh, I was making a workflow, right? And actually, I wanted to add three more blocks. It was just letting, not letting me make three more more blocks after that specific automation, which restricted and affected my mind very bad. And actually, went for make.com, which was better solution overall that I actually wanted, was looking for. Now, Nathan is not at all a beginner friendly automation platform. You need to learn a little bit of code. I mean, a little bit of code. What do I mean by a little bit of code is learning API calling as well as JSON a little bit. Okay. So once you learn API keys, API calling and JSON, which I have a video about, you can go check it out. Uh, you will be able to use Nathan very much efficiently better than anyone, but I would still prefer if you're just getting started, get started with make, understand what are actually, uh, transferring data from one platform to another is and then once that you understand the framework of the whole platform and then you I would prefer you to shift to Nathan right now let's discuss about inbuilt apps right so now what why are inbuilt apps are important inbuilt apps are kind of important because it gives you much more time to build uh much more saves you more much more time to actually build more automation plus it allows you to build a very or uh, any automation very simply and very efficiently very fast right so the more apps and uh software have it means the much more better it is for us and much more faster it's going to get for actually us to build more automations but the only problem uh the zapier has highest amount of apps inbuilt and connections so that will allow you to actually connect any platform from other platform so if you're just getting started uh, looking for an app uh, that is not in make or Nathan, you can go with zapier because if you are doing automations at very low scale right but make.com has more than enough apps and Nathan it has very very less apps in built in if i actually show you how many apps they do they have okay so if i click on plus and automate action in app if i just slow these are the uh, if i scroll these are the only apps that they provide i mean they are even though they are like very very famous apps uh i still they are still very low compared to what uh zapier and make has to provide one more feature that i actually like about uh Nathan and make.com that they allow you to import and export workflows from external person that they have built. Now, for example, you're watching a YouTube video. There is a, some person is teaching you how to build a specific autonomous agent online. And they tell you that you can build uh, this specific autonomous agent on your own self. You're interested. And all you need to do is just download the template and export the template within software. You can do that within Nathan and make.com and just download and import the software, the whole workflow with just one click. But Zapier sucks at that. Zapier do not provide any import and export of workflows. And that that's annoying because you will have to walk through why everyone build it always from scratch and you cannot, you cannot duplicate it. Now, flexibility, uh, Nathan is, of course, if you learn a little bit about code, you're going to have a lot of flexibility within Zapier. Nathan, right? But Zapier, uh, uh, kind of not at all flexible. I mean, I've, the first reason why I left Zapier is because I wanted a lot more flexibility. That's why I switched over to Make. Make has an intermediate level of flexibility. I will still say, uh, even though like like if you want much more flexibility, it's gonna cost you more. So that's a drawback of that. But uh, regarding flexibility, uh, Nathan is on top, Make is in the middle, and the Zapier is in the bottom as well. Now. The best part is self-hosting. So self-hosting, Nathan provides self-hosting, Zapier and make.com do not provide self-hosting. Now, self-hosting gives us the best advantage. What do I mean by give best advantage is when you self-host Nathan on your own use case, all you need to do is just pay for self-hosting and you can have unlimited executions, automations running for you, your client and saving you hundred dollars or thousands of dollars per month, depending on your use case. Now, all you need to do as head over to a platform like somewhere like railway hosting so i'm going to go to railway hosting and if i see if i head over to their pricing page now with the help of this railway hosting app what you can do you can host nathan on your own computer so what it's going to do is going to use your own cpu right and when it's going to use own cpu like uh it's going to provide a whole uh hosting by on their own cells and you can make unlimited executions as you want it's not going to charge you anything so let's say even if i switch the executions to hundred thousand that's going to cost you five dollars only and that is exactly what we were looking for and also the reason why nathan actually costs you money 
amount that they actually charge is 20 euros for 2.5k they are not charging for execution but instead the site uh, hosting that they provide themselves ease of setup that they provide and also support and the ui and the ux of the website they provide as that what they are charging for to you that's why uh, they host it for you and that's why they charge you this money but if you host Nathan on your own platform it's going to charge you only five dollars and you know what i'm going to create a full video on how you can self host Nathan by yourself with just uh, using any platform like pricing railway uh, like uh, railway or digital ocean and save a bunch of money with the help of automation i'm going to also make some few tutorials on how to use now in the conclusion what i mean is make is for someone who's just getting started and uh it's a better overall solution and i would say like uh, who just want to for like whose foot and themselves with automation don't want to spend a lot of month, uh, money but as zapier is the type of platform uh, like let's say it has all of the apps like most of the apps in the world and let's say the specific app you do not have in make.com or Nathan. What you can do, you can use Zapier because you don't want to uh, slam your head into the wall about learning about APIs. And Nathan, as I say, you are an agency owner building automations or AI agents for any business. Nathan is the best platform because it's, it's going to save you money, more flexibility, more uh, AI use cases. So if you have any questions, you can uh, comment down. There will be a new video coming about how to self-host Nathan all by yourself. And see you in the next one.